Hello and welcome. Let's talk about GameFi, NFTs, DeFi, games, crypto games, cryptocurrencies, and all that wonderful, wonderful stuff. So I'm not here to give you a history lesson on what is GameFi and where it came from, who first said it, that kind of stuff. I mean, you can Google this kind of stuff yourself. Um, what I really want to do is talk about like ownership of assets and then slowly move into what exactly is GameFi. I've kind of done a few short videos. Um, I posted some, I'm not sure. Maybe you've seen some of them already. Um, but basically GameFi is made f up of two words. Is the uh, you know synergy or the fusion of two words. Uh, one is game and one is finance. Fi is finance. Just like DeFi is decentralized finance, GameFi is decentralized game finance. So someone once said, you know, uh, I think the best definition right now around is that DeFi is like decentralized finance, uh, is the gamification of finance, and and uh, GameFi is the finance financialization of games. So making games financially. Uh, um, what's the best word for this? Hmm, um, you know, like making it financially appealing to gamers. Like, you know, a lot of gamers, we spend, and I, I'm a gamer too, right? So <laughs> uh, we spend like thousands of dollars every month. Uh, sorry, every year. Uh, uh, depending on how, how, what kind of whale you are. But um, you could spend thousands of dollars a month, right? Um, or hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on how much you have, or hundreds of dollars, or just you know fifty dollars here and there, on games. Like I've, I've, <laughs> uh, I, one of these days I'm gonna do a video on how much money I spend on games. But anyway, um, games like you, you buy it, but you don't actually like get to keep the assets. And what I'm talking about assets is like, for example, um, uh, you know, in the background we see Street Fighter, right? So what if you can own uh, a collectible, uh, uh, you know, headband or like um, um, gi, gi, one of those things that people wear, like those, you know, those uh, Ryu or, or Ken, whatever they wear, like those things or, you know, whatever. It could be something that you can own in the game. You can actually trade and sell if you don't want it anymore or you want to make money off it, right? So... Um, like if you own, uh, if you own one of these machines, right, uh, like uh, an arcade machines, then you can actually, like, I guess, uh, you know, make money from this using, you know, uh, this, right. And so when people play, because you own this arcade machine, people can pay you to play this game. For example, you own an arcade. So what if you own like a bunch of games like an, you can own your own arcade basically but you can own assets for example um like i say you can own like a, a person uh, a, a character in the game right you can own this guy for example and you can sell him like he's a collectible like he has a special uh headband or a special uh costume what uh, he the way he looks is maybe different or his belt is different like he'd be a black belt it could be a brown uh belt whatever you know it could be something different that differentiates him and is unique and is rare so for example people who play certain games where you can you know like for example fortnite or other things where you have a special weapon and you know they sh if they limit the weapon to like okay 100 of these weapons in this server like in in Europe or in in Asia, right? Then the weapon is is like you can only have certain amount of um, people that have this, and then so it has is scarcity, which means it's a scarce resource and it's worth more because you are one of the hundred people that have this. Obviously, you have to pay for it, but you can also sell it. It's yours. It's not just you getting this equipment or uh, weapon or something because they, someone dropped it. And someone may drop it and you may get it and, and basically what you get is NFT which is a tokenization of that that object, that asset in the game. So game assets, whether it is, uh, it could be, you know, it could be Mario, it could be on, like for example, if you can own a special hat if, of Mario, right? Or you could own certain like costumes like his frog suit or his, you know, raccoon suit 
or one of his cloud, you know, if he was in a cloud, like that would be different than if he was like, you know, if, if he has a turtle suit, for example, or something else that's unique. So, okay, let's just say, for example, you play chess, right? And digital chess, online chess, if, imagine if you own the pieces. You If you own a king, right, and it's like one of 2,000 and um, is unique. So you can buy and sell this king. And so someone can make up a chess set of different, you know, uh, pieces on the chessboard, for example. So, you know, uh, pawns may be more, obviously more um, uh, available, right? There could be a million pawns out there, but there could be a certain amount of knights or bishops or rooks, for example. And, you know, chess pieces, chess chess boards, that kind of stuff, people do collect them. I've seen some made of ivory, which I don't agree with, but uh, some of made from jade or, you know, made from other precious stones or precious uh, material like titanium or um, I'm sure there's one made of diamonds, for example. Um, but, you know, whatever. It's made of, like, you know, ceramic or porcelain or that, that kind of stuff. So, like, you know, marble, for example, I'm sure those are out there. So, you know, like if you own the piece, for example, this is what I'm talking about assets. Like if this can become an asset, you could actually rent it out. You could actually sell it. You can actually buy it. Obviously, you need to buy it or someone can give it to you. It can be an inheritance. You can inherit a chessboard, for example. You can inherit uh, pieces, for example. And these can be in form of NFTs or it can be, you know, anything really. Um, but... You know, just let your imagination go well. So if I want to um, bring you back, you know, uh, you know, I have a couple of videos and let me just kind of um, bring that back. So here's a video I have in on YouTube and um, is it paused? I think it's paused. Uh, okay, I think it's paused. Okay. <laughs> Where you can anywhere okay sorry let me pause okay um basically like i just posted this a couple of, of minutes less than an hour ago and here i'm talking about this movie which is called um ready player one right and i kind of give you a short uh primer on what is what on what is game fi uh i kind of you know maybe piqued your interest i just i told you that it's, it's game plus let me just point it out again. Uh, it is basically game plus finance. And this is where strategy and skills becomes your income. So you can actually make money from GameFi. And people are making money. I'm making money from it. And I'll show you a bit of that. Like, you know, if you just watch my YouTubes, uh, my videos, like games I'm sure playing you playing right now, I'm sure kind of showing you what I'm playing. And, I'm you know, you just you can watch it or you can play it on your own. Uh, if... if uh, you know, if you're interested in doing that kind of stuff. So, like, one of them I'm playing is the crops, uh, farms. I'm, I'm just like a farm kind of veil kind of thing where you, you know, um, there's all kinds of stuff um, you can play. And I'll kind of get into that other stuff later on, but let me just continue talking about what is GameFi. And so GameFi, games and finance, where strategy and, and, and skill becomes your income. So GameFi is basically, you know, games built on the blockchain. So currently, you know, this is my YouTube channel. Um, I have, I, I really need your help to get to like 1K subscribers. Uh, that's my main goal for this month. <laughs> um, and, you know, I am getting some views. Like sometimes I get a lot of views. Sometimes I don't. So far, it seems like Clash Royale is the best. But for example, Clash Royale, right? I play Clash Royale like every day. But I, and, I, and I've actually spent money. I am kind of a will on Clash Royale. I've spent money on this. Um, but I actually do not uh, own any of it. Like I spend money, <clears throat> but uh, in the end, it goes to the developers, which is great because, you know, they're developing this game that I really enjoy. Um, most of the time, <laughs> uh, obviously you win, you lose, right? And so it's not fun losing. But um, for the most part, like at the end of the day, if I uninstall the game, I don't get anything out of it. I just spend all this money um, and... 
I cannot sell my account. Uh, I cannot sell any assets. It doesn't belong to me. Like, you know, the crown, the, the, the different, uh, you know, uh, skins I have for the game. It's all going to be gone. And it, like, it is, it's not something I can trade or sell. It's not unique. Like, everyone can get it if they pay a certain amount of money to get it, right? But then you pay the amount and you get the skin. Um, and then what what after that like it, it, it's nice you get it you look at it but you can't do anything with it it doesn't belong to you right the game that and assets doesn't belong to you and you don't have to be the one developing the game but like developers should implement something that they should implement like financial stuff into the game so that it's actually more fun and they can actually generate more revenue because people will want to buy it for example if i can get a special skin um uh, or something that is unique and is limited and I can have bragging rights that I own this. Right now I do and I put it on you know YouTube and that kind of stuff. People love to watch it. But at the end of the day, like um it doesn't belong to me and I can't buy it, I can't I can't trade it. Um so so what, right? Um so like for all these videos that I'm making, all these can become an NFT, for example. But uh I don't own the rights to everything. So definitely, please go and subscribe. Um, again, let me turn this on. Please go and subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get to 1K subscribers, which is 1,000. And then go watch these videos. These three videos are very, very important um, as, I, as I talk about GameFi and what is GameFi. And each of them are like 60 seconds or less. So just, you know, just spend three minutes watching those. So the same goes with like console games. For example, you can own the controller, you can own the system, but at the end of the day, the most of the games on PlayStation and Nintendo Switch and all those things, you don't own it. You don't own the assets. You own the game, you own a copy of it, but it's not unique. Like everyone owns the same thing. They may play it differently, um, but at the end of the day, it is all the same. So what you own is maybe the controller, you know, the fun, uh, the experience, but that's all you really own. But what if you could actually own things in the games? So let's take a look at this example for... Uh, example. <laughs> let's take a look at this picture for, as an example, right? The pieces here, are they look kind of unique. Like, you know, this is... 46 you have 143 and uh, you have like 48 so each of these are basically unique right and so for example if you can make a game that uh your defi game would be your your gamify game fi game would be where you each person owns one of these right and then together you guys make um a you know a jenga board right for example and and so like you rent out your blocks to in order to to make this game and basically whoever wins at the end like which which blocks remain at the end for example maybe 37 or 30 or 13 right or why are all the trees on this row like it's all funny uh and then fives two, two, two fives and there's another five here and you know that kind of stuff so like for example um if your blocks are used um and at the end it is the one remaining right um then you win for example or maybe you know if it's removed every time one of these is removed you lose like a bit of uh you know something right you lose a point for example and those points can become like uh, equivalent to money for example um something anyway it like you know okay so the, okay you know what the best idea i guess is one thing is like if you rent out your blocks for example you have 29 and you rent it out and it's used for only like maybe uh two minutes right if you only use it for two minutes and then it's, it's removed right then you lose it right for example then your rental time is only two minutes so you only make money on that two minutes because the rest of the time is on the floor right so that, that kind of stuff i mean there's so many ways you can gamify a game like that uh obviously digitally not just uh in real life but oh in real life you also you can do that but you know it's it's different i mean 
But the thing is, it's really cool. Like you can own blocks, assets, right? You can rent it out. You can sell it. For example, twenty is, is like, the best one because it's the most stable one. It doesn't break. It it's like, it's, whatever. It, it makes the most money. So people want this block, for example. So people will auction for it. They would you know buy it. That kind of stuff. So this is just. You know, trying to get you to understand what GameFi is really... It is kind of a really broad term. But basically, financial... Like, finance and games together. Like just think of finance and games, right? And on the blockchain. So the blockchain is, is like a uh, a record-keeping thing that that keeps records and, and all the you know, data of, uh, of how long a block lasts in a game, for example. So what is 46, right? How long does it last? It lasts, like, the whole game. Um, or, you know, maybe, again, um, uh, 29, or, you know, 35, or any of these. Like, these are, like, good, good um, blocks, for example. So, a blockchain, is, I, I mean, this is actually a good picture for blockchains, because these blocks, they, they form a chain, or they form, like, the architectural uh, thing, where, you know, like, this is, this is all the blocks that, you require in order to you know um to keep data and this this uh, this ch this blockchains are all around the world so it's it's very decentralized this is where you know, DeFi comes along and maybe i'll explain more about DeFi in future if you guys are not familiar with that term ask me in the comments i'll talk about that but for the most part i mean like you need skill to play this game. Like this game is about skill, right? It's not just um yeah, it's fun, but if you have skill, it's a lot more fun. Uh so a strategy, you also need strategy, you see? So you you know this has been removed. This this block has been removed as well, right? Um and then this whole whole bunch of blocks here missing, right? And then there's another one behind here that's missing, and another one inside here is missing as well as the one on top is missing, right? So, like, and this is another one here is missing as well as these over here are missing. Um, so, like, you need a strategy. You need a skill um, to generate this income. And sometimes you don't even need that. Like, if you own the blocks, if you own the asset, if you own the game, you don't need skill necessarily. You just need to know, um, um, you know, Basically, and the blockchain basically keeps records. So who is renting it, who is buying it, for example, uh, that would be all in the blockchain. Like, um, monetizing games, for example. Like, you own the blocks, and, and that's basically... People play to earn as well. And they can actually earn... For example, you give one of these blocks, you give 41 away as a prize or something. Like So if you win the game... This you you can give it away, right? Uh, you can trade it. You can sell it. You can trade it. So like for some so for example, someone wants twenty, and you give them forty six. So you exchange it, right? Um, so, and the thing is also you can breed it. Like for example, some games you do breeding. Like okay, if if uh, forty one and thirty two are really good, and you breed them together. It what what it becomes like uh seventy three right? It becomes a new block, right? So like, you can burn them, and burning assets means like these two are gone, so these two have a baby. Right, and they have a new block, so you create a new block, and then this block is worth like, it has history. Obviously, it, this is where it came from, and it becomes like. A new block altogether so you can win battles so like for example this game is, is, is like you know you win this game and then um, you move on to the competition and all that kind of good stuff and when you win right like you win battles you win tournaments you win games and you you, you get more assets for example you get more assets you can sell them on uh, you know open sea or any other places and the marketplace for example um, you can breed them like I said you can breed you can create like all kinds of stuff you can create your own uh, blocks you can create your own games because you own the asset you can you can bring this you know okay imagine if Lego Lego 
uh, Lego hasn't done this yet, I think. But imagine if Lego um, tokenized everything. So you own blocks uh, and, and you need certain pieces in order to create like, you know, the the uh, uh, Star Wars uh, uh, <coughs> properties or, or figures or figurines or like, you know, uh, objects or spaceships, whatever. So you need blocks. And if if uh, if you own this set, for example, you own like the... Um, um, one of the one of the spaceships, like the Death Star, for example. If you own this Death Star, you own other pieces. You can actually take it down. You can take all the blocks down, and you can create your own, you know, version of the of the Death Star. This is basically, you know, it's creative. It's very creative. You you own it. You can trade it. You can say, okay, I have the Death Star. I can trade it for, you know, um, the lunar base or something else. Like you know, I want to trade it for a spaceship. You know, trade it for a Tesla, for example. You can actually do that because you know you own you own all the blocks. You own all the pieces, um, to for the Death Star, and you can actually sell it. And it's, it must be worth a lot because you have all these pieces. People can take it down. They can rebuild it and and whatnot. And eventually they can sell it. As well, and the value goes up because it's rare. It's the more rare it is, the less that is out there. There's only one Death Star, right? I mean, they did make another one. If you're historically correct, they did make a couple, but some are not complete. So the incomplete Death Star is actually worth maybe uh, less than the complete one, or you know, maybe the the one that fixed the uh, exhaust valve uh, flaw or, or vulnerability is worth a lot more because it, it, you can't just you know fly. In use the force and you know shoot <laughs> and explode the Death Star, right? Like, uh, yeah, like all this, all this cool stuff. Anyway, I'm I'm running ahead of myself, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, it's been fun training one plus minutes. Uh, I will talk more about this later on, and you know, ask me your questions because I I really believe that you should learn on your own. Uh, but I'm trying to give you as much as I can and ideas as well. And those of you who are listening to this and, you know, I'm, I'm working on like 10 different uh, NFT projects right now. So um, ask me questions. Ask me questions. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Thanks. Take care. Goodbye. Remember, like, subscribe, follow and stay tuned because be, I do play a lot of games, but I also have a lot of like good content like this. So stay tuned.